two big parts that you're going to um, do in this section is identifying domain and identifying range. Well, that's actually one big part. The other big part is uh, identifying where the function is increasing and where the function is decreasing. So I'm going to look at, we're going to look at this graph right here to answer those questions. Now this example is just asking for us to uh, find the domain of f and find these values, like f of negative 1 and f of 2, and then we're finding the range. So let's find a domain and range together, and then we'll find the other things. All right, first our domain. Domain is whatever x can, whatever x values would be in the table for this. Okay, so um, we look at the x-axis for that. Which x values are on, in our table for this function? Yeah, we start at negative 1, which is right here. That's negative 1, and then we go all the way to 5. Okay, so we have negative 1 to 5. Does negative 1 get a bracket or parenthesis? Bracket. 5? Parenthesis. Because we have a solid dot, then an open hole. So you guys are good with that, right? What about range? For range, we're looking at the y-axis. And so we're looking up and down here. What's my lowest y value? Negative 3. And what's my highest? Uh, 3. Um, negative 3. Bracket or parenthesis? Bracket, positive three, bracket or parenthesis, bracket. Okay, so that's domain and range. I know you guys see a hole right here, huh? You're kind of concerned about that. But look, uh, can, um, can the range be a two? Yeah, it could be a two right there and right there. So that hole doesn't matter for me for the range. Okay, any other questions about the range? Yes, Pinky. Uh, yeah, it's, if this hole right here was higher than, the, than that dot, it would matter. Then you would have a parenthesis on it. Okay. Um, all right. What about uh, this value? What is f of negative one? We just look at negative one, which is right here. And what's the y value? It's one. Okay. What about f of two? Look at the two. Yep, it's negative three. So that's all you had to do for those. Okay, where is this function increasing? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna not gonna do it the way the book does it. I'm just gonna write ink. Where is the function increasing? If you're moving from left to right, where is the function increasing? Where is it decreasing? Okay, am I increasing or decreasing as I'm moving? Increasing. increasing. And then I stop right there and I start decreasing, right? Yeah. So I would say from negative one to zero, we're increasing. Negative one to zero. Now, whenever we're doing increasing and decreasing, always just put parentheses, okay? You don't do brackets. All right, is there any other uh, uh, interval on this graph where we're increasing? Yeah. From two to five? So I'm gonna put two to five right here. That's where we're increasing. Where are we decreasing? Zero to two. That's it. You guys good? Now, there's a couple other things in this section